Hello, I hope you're having a good day. Today we are going to learn how to make an atmosphere in Eevee in Blender 2.8 just like the one that you see on your screen right now. The first thing you're going to want to make sure that you do is turn on the bloom option in your scene settings. You also want to make sure that you are using Eevee, not Workbench or Cycles. Now, I've already created the material here, so rather than walk you through its creation step by step, I'm going to show it to you and explain how it works. So if we go all the way to the back here, we have a diffuse BSDF node. Uh, I'm plugging that into a shader to RGB node, and essentially I'm just using this as a mask. So I'm masking off the, uh, the area that is covered by light because we don't want our atmosphere to be uh, picking up in the black area. We don't want it picking up light in the black area there, in the shadow. So from there we go to a color ramp. This is just a very minor adjustment that we're making to uh, the light value there. You can make it sharper, you can make it less sharp there, whatever floats your boat. Then we're using that as the mix factor. So we're mixing pure black with a Fresnel node, which I'm probably mispronouncing. And we get that result there. From there, we go into a color ramp, which is just some more minor adjusting. Uh, I was just making the edge a little bit sharper and more intense there, but also I have a slightly lower white value there. You can see uh, 0.68 uh, to make it not too intense. Uh, if you want to, you can also bring back the black over here and make it just sharper around the edge there. Anyways, from there, we are just multiplying our value to make it a lot brighter around there, uh, around the edge there, and uh, kind of everywhere. And then uh, we go over and we plug that multiply into the strength input of an emission shader. It's over here in the color setting where you can change the color to make whatever crazy atmosphere you want. Then we plug that into an add shader and what an add shader does is exactly what it says. It adds one shader on top of another one, uh, and it's great. <laughs> it basically works like the screen function in uh, Photoshop, where the black gets kind of masked out, is my understanding. Now, down here in the other input of our add shader, we just have our planet texture. There's nothing too special about this. If you go in here, I have two different pictures of rocks that are going into a, uh, a mix over here, and they're controlled by a, uh, their mixture is controlled by a noise texture here to give them kind of, you know, uh, not a tiled repeating obvious pattern there. Then I'm just boosting the brightness and the contrast over here, and I have a bump going into our normal here. Uh, I keep the values here very subtle. Uh, if you put them high up, it does not look good. <laughs> keep in mind that you're viewing something from orbit, you know, so while maybe these mountains and valleys are very big on the planet, from so far away, it doesn't look like it. And uh, that's really all there is to it. Our add shader goes to the material output, and we have ourselves a nice little planet rendering in real time with an atmosphere. Something else you can do for your final shot, if you'd like, is uh, over here in color management, probably one of my favorite areas in Blender, you can change the look to have high contrast or very high contrast. Uh, you can also boost the exposure if you like, which might give you a nice effect. That's too much exposure. One looks nice, I think. You can also bring down the gamma to make it darker, and more dramatic. Uh, you could also up the gamma and make it all much brighter, but honestly, I usually don't bring the gamma up too high. Uh, usually I make things brighter with exposure and darker with gamma when I'm working with space. 
Anyways, that's all there really is to our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to like, follow, and subscribe if you want to. Uh, also, comment uh, if you've got any questions, if you've got any questions on other stuff. And don't forget to have a great day. Bye-bye.